Well, folks, I don't think I need to tell you what I just saw because, well, I don't know what I just saw. Um, top Shot Score. So it's not even Collector Score anymore. It's it's Top Shot Score. Um, what does that mean? We don't know. Um, we saw some preliminary uh, scores, which may, according to Top Shot, are not accurate. I have I have a feeling that has something to do with what's going to be revealed. Um, I have a feeling, don't quote me on this, but my collector score went down about 40% or something like that. And I have a lot of S2 commons to prop up my collector score. So I have a feeling that the S2 commons, if you have a lot of S2 commons, your collectors, your top shot score, excuse me, will not reflect what your collector score currently is. Whereas if you have a lot of high quality moments, your collector score may increase significantly. Now my net spend is is really nothing to sneeze at, but um, I don't think that was accurately reflected in the little preview we saw. So I really don't know. Um, here's what we need: we need to see some sort of net for spend reflected, as they've as they've pointed out, and we need to see um, we need to see sort of sort of the floor supported. See, that was the great thing about collector score is that the floor was supported. Right, the collector score made it so that you had to buy floor moments, which pretty much everyone can who's on the platform. You had to buy a certain number of floor moments to get a certain collector score. And then if you built that up enough over a period of time, you could be eligible for rare and legendary drops, which, you know, the contents of which would include the rare or legendary, which would be supported by the challenge that would happen afterwards. And then all the supporting common moments, which would be supported by the collector score that everyone has to keep in order to get into set drops, or all the common collectors who keep their common moments in order to maintain sets and whatnot. So the commons were always supported by collector score, and the rares and legendaries were always supported by whales and rare and legendary uh, packs and the lack of cereals and scarcity and things like that. I mean, scarcity isn't the only factor. It never was. Um... You know, things like things like Hero Ball now and Flash Challenges and, you know, the, whether it's, you know, you need a challenge reward or a Top Shot debut for said said challenges and things like that. Um, cheat Code, I mean, I don't think a ton of people are going out of their way to do Cheat Code, but, you know, that is at least one possible avenue to get to a reward. So, you know, or the, the last credit challenge we just saw with uh, rares from each team that you needed. So there have always been a number of different possibilities the collector score has provided for. Of course, the big wrench in that was blended, which meant that you did not have to collect collector score in order to get your hands on a rare or legendary, which was really, really threw a wrench into things. The economy, the market absolutely shifted as a result of that. You know, we went from a fairly uneventful January to skydive into the Himalayas. So, um, more of that is not good. I think CS gating is good. I think rares, you know how they say commons are meant to be common? I think rares and legendaries are meant to be rare and scarce and legendary. I think they have to be. I, I mean, I know they're trying to incorporate blended some other way. I just feel like if, if collector score does not follow that model, then I, it was working. That's the part I don't understand. Collector score was working. It worked. It did. It worked for all of series two. I mean, I don't think anybody complained about the collector score. People, you know, there was a complaint about, look, there was a complaint about, oh, I had never gotten a rare pack or, oh, I had never gotten a legendary pack or, oh, you know, I've never had a rare or legendary moment. And it's like, well, yeah, that's frustrating, but you get over it. The, the odds, the luck of the draw dictates that you will if you have if you give yourself enough chances, especially with priority queue, you will get a rare or legendary pack, you know? And if you build up your collector score enough, you get lucky a few times, you can build your collector score up some more, get yourself into more priority queues, get yourself more bites of the apple, get yourself more rare and legendary packs. That was always possible. That was and technically is still possible. It's just we haven't had that many priority queues lately, um, in the last two, three months now. But... You know, I'm hoping for more of that. I think it stabilizes. It's a, it's a, it's a, what did I used to say? It's, it's a marketplace first approach where the packs and any expected value that you can see from that that is positive uh, go back into marketplace because of the collector score requirement instead of a packs first approach where you attempt to stabilize the marketplace 
by having a, high, a wider range of, of elect, uh, expected value outcomes that could be, you know, three, four digits for some people, you know? I mean, that works for a very small number of people, but it's zero sum because for whoever is gaining that much value, some people are actually losing it, you know, for the more packs that they buy. And it was hurting dedicated collectors, and you want to see, like, it is a capitalistic game. Like, you want to see people, you know, the more they collect, the, more, the less people sell, the more opportunities they have to collect and get and get utility and 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 rewards and airdrops and things and that formula made sense so i don't know what this is going to be i don't i don't know why this is even happening i mean the internal calc you know blended was n i don't think blended was a majority opinion i don't think the criticism of collector score is a majority opinion i don't think the majority were saying that they were even interested in spending money on a legendary pack anyway. Even let, let's go back to like June of last year or October of last year. I don't even think the majority were upset about not getting a rare legendary pack. I think they wanted them, but I think realistically, if if they didn't have the collector score, then they couldn't. That was the principle. If that had been explained more explicitly, I could have understood it. I think a lot of people could have understood it, but I I don't know what this top shot score is going to be. I mean, as some of you know, I am reassessing because I'm just so frustrated with the current paradigm. I have some concerns that I have never really been fully explained. I don't understand it, really. But, um, you know, I, I have uh, I have some faith. I have some faith. I just saw, you know, an interview where Adam Silver specifically mentioned NBA Top Shot to Kevin Garnett. That's the thing you like to see. That's the thing where on a Showtime Basketball uh, podcast by Kevin Garnett, KG Certified. You know, you, you like to see that Adam Silver is, is saying, you know, oh, it's great to see how, um, you know, teams can see who their fans are and then be invested in those fans and reward them and, and have gamification for being the biggest fan, you know, which we've never really been able to measure that, right? And the, the league doesn't get revenue from cardboard, he was saying, but they do from something like Top Shot, which... You know, it, it helps them, it helps us, it helps everybody. So it's an exchange in that way. I just don't know how, you know, if Top Shot's score doesn't emphasize previous series, Series 1, Series 2, if it doesn't have that graded, um, if it doesn't have that that gradual uh, decline of collector score, I mean, I thought the, the Series 2 to Series 3 base set collector score was a little harsh. Um... You know, I thought that drop was a little dramatic, but I didn't think it was terrible. I just thought it meant that people would be collecting Series 2 during Series 3. And I, I don't know. Yeah, at this point, I don't know what the plan is. I don't know where the emphasis is. Well, I guess we'll find out in the middle of this month, but to be continued, I mean, what would you, you know, what would you expect? Because I, I don't know what to expect. Unless, you know, you're getting rewards for... This is something that, that you know is sort of more of a conspiracy theory at this point, but unless you're getting rewards for each collector score, top shot score, milestone. And you know, Janie and Pack Rip are already uh, celebrating this thing with the uh, with the profile pick, and I'm thinking, celebrating what exactly? We're like, okay, we gotta wait nine days for what? That you are so excited about, and Mustafa was like, oh, it's an upgrade. Unless, you, I think unless you're rewarding us for each collector score milestone, unless we're talking about leaderboard score, you know, you know, this is your periodic reward or something. Unless we're talking about periodic rewards for collector faithfulness, then I don't know what the heck is coming. I mean, you can't do too many airdrops. You can't do more metallic silver for, for Series 3. You can't really do it until next season. You can't give away all the rare packs. You can't give them all, you know, away fast. You can't do more rare content. You, you've distributed all the metallic gold LE series three that I think that there is maybe there's a couple more rewards coming I imagine but um what can you do unless you want to give away credit for for collector score I I, I don't I don't know I, I I don't know um so well TBD there's a whole lot of avenues to it but I I, I must say fervently that I do not have any idea what top shot score is and i'm a little petrified because if that transition is not smooth we riot do we not we we we, we pretty surely definitely definitively riot so let's hope we don't have to do that and uh here's to a smooth transition
a smooth, uh, what's the, what's the phrase? Um, a smooth, uh, what is it when the, when the president, you know, goes into the White House and the other president steps down? Um, accession of power? Su succession of power? Transition of power? A peaceful transition of, of power. Yeah, let's, let's, let's hope for that, shall we? All right. T TBC.